Wildfire suppression tactics, naturally very widely due to the different fuel types, terrain, and available personnel and equipment. Postbacks are a very versatile tool for initial attack, and there are multiple schools of thought concerning their construction and deployment. This video demonstrates one very effective method developed by the Grants Pass Unit of Oregon Department of Forestry for building quick deploying hose packs to construct progressive hose lays. The techniques demonstrated here are routinely used successfully by the Grants Pass Unit to catch fires at initial attack. The concept of progressive hose lays is relatively simple. To bring water with you as you flank the fire from an established anchor point. Done right, this technique is safe, effective, and as you'll see, is much faster and easier than unrolling single sticks of hose and connecting each individual fitting. As demonstrated here, a practice crew can have three hose packs deployed, charged, and flowing water 400 feet from the engine within two minutes of arrival on scene. To begin with, you'll need a good hose pack. The Grants Pass unit likes the hose packs that are 22 by 18 by 4 inches in dimension, big enough to hold everything and the straps make it easy to carry a couple of bags at a time. You will also need one 100 foot length of inch and a half. It can be done with 200 feet, but you'll definitely need to use a hand primer to pull out all the air before it will fit in the bag. One 100 foot length of one inch hose, one inch and a half gated Y, one inch and a half to one inch reducer, one nozzle. We use the lightweight KK nozzles. A roll of flagging tape. Do not use escape route or some other type of danger flagging tape. This can lead to confusion of escape routes and other firefighting operations when the flagging is on the ground after deployment of the pack. These hose packs can be built by one person, but we have found that it goes faster with three. Once you've got all the parts and pieces gathered together, begin by laying the 100 foot length of inch and a half hose out flat and attach the gated Y to the male end of the hose and reducer to the gated Y. Next lay the 100 foot length of 1 inch hose on top of the inch and a half hose, doubling it back on itself so that it is laying flat and the male end is on top. Attach the female end to the reducer on the gated Y and the nozzle to the male end. Make sure only the side of the gated Y to continue the hose lay is closed, while the lateral gate remains open. Lay the nozzle along the handle of the lateral gate and tie it in place with flagging. Next. Tie all the hose together with flagging every 6 to 8 feet, making sure the hose is flat as you go. The last tie, just before the 1 inch hose is doubled over, needs to be tied through the loop of the 1 inch hose and then again around the outside of all three. This helps hold the length of 1 inch hose in place and ensures that all the flagging breaks upon deployment. The next step is filling the hose pack. It's easier if one person holds the bag open while the other person feeds the hose into the bag. If you've got a third person, they can help pull hose for the person packing the bag. Begin by placing the gated Y upside down in the bottom of the pack. Feather the hose back and forth across the full length and width of the pack, slightly overlapping each turn of the hose, making sure to use all available space. As you pack the bag, use your boot to compress the hose so it goes in compactly. If the hose has air in it and is too puffy, you can gain space by using a hand primer to pull the excess out, which will allow it to lie flatter. When you're done packing the bag with the hose, leave the last few inches of the female end hanging out of the top of the bag so it is easily accessible. During initial attack, using hose packs is a quick, efficient way to get water on the fire and begin flanking it. Anyone who has struggled trying to pull or roll hose up steep slopes or through thick brush knows that using hose packs can save firefighters a lot of time and energy. To ensure a smooth deployment of the hose packs on a hectic initial attack response, it is important to drill with them in practice sessions, switching rolls occasionally so everyone knows how the entire process should go. Typically, one person will grab a couple of hose packs while the other fires up the pump and connects the trunk line from one of the pack. The person at the pump should protect the engine and the first 100 feet of trunk line while the person with the hose packs begins deploying. At this point, it is critical to unbuckle both straps holding the top flap of the bag. The hose will feed out from the pack as you work your way towards the fire. When the hose is deployed, the person at the pump is signaled to charge the line. From here, an anchor point can be established by cooling down the fire before flanking can begin. Additional hose packs can be added as needed, bringing water with you and leaving coverage along the fire edge behind you in case of flare-ups or spot fires. 
The more care taken in the building of the hose pack will increase the deployment and performance of the pack. While a hose pack is being deployed and you're attaching the hose to the pump or extending off an existing line, it is a good idea to give yourself a little slack and stand on the hose to keep it from getting inadvertently pulled from your hand and drug away because of a tangle or a catch. After the hose has been deployed from the pack, take a few seconds to hang the packs from brush or tree limbs so that they don't get lost. They're expensive. Building and drilling with hose packs, no matter what type you choose to make, takes some time. But the amount of time and effort they can save you on a fast moving initial attack response can make the difference between catching the fire while it is small or ending up with a large costly fire. The method described in this video has been field tested over many seasons by the Grants Pass Wildland Firefighters and the technique is an important part of their continuously successful initial attack program.